Right, good morning everyone. Um, this is a bit weird. Welcome to your first reading lesson as a remote learner in year two. Uh, bear with me because it's a new technology thing we're trying here. Um, I hope you're all well and you're ready to get learning. Okay, so just bear with me while I share my screen. So hopefully you can see that. So today we are carrying on the story that we started this week, which is Flat Stanley, you might remember. Now, just to give you a quick reminder of what we've been reading so far, on Monday and Tuesday this week, we covered the first chapter of that book. And in that chapter, it talks about how, um, how Stanley got flat, okay? Try and remember how that happened. I'm gonna give you five seconds just to have a little think. Did you get it? If you remember, a large bulletin board, which is a thing that you put on a wall and put little messages on, bulletin board fell on him while he was asleep. Now his brother, Arthur, is the one who found him and he calls Mr. and Mrs. Lambchop, the parents, to come see and they've just found Stanley flattened under this board. So that's where we got up to, okay? For today's lesson, we're going on to the next section of flat Stanley. So normally in class, uh, you would sit in pairs and you would read um, the section and then we would talk about it as a class and then I'd give you some questions and you'd go off and do the questions. Now, clearly we can't do that. But what's going to happen is I'm going to read you the story. I happen to have it here at my house and it will be on the screen as well. So you will be able to read along on the screen as I read from the book, okay? And then at the end, there'll be some questions that you can, you can get your parents to pause so you can see all the questions and just have a go at answering them on your own okay so before we get into flat stanley just want to give you a quick reminder i know we've been doing it for so long now i'm sure you know but the reading skill we're really focusing on this term and we'll be doing it after christmas as well is retrieval and if you remember retrieval is when you take something from the text you literally pull the answer out from the text and put it in for your answer okay uh, we'll go over the steps of how to answer a question um, once we've read through the text, okay? So now we're going to move on to Flat Stanley. I'm going to find the page in the book. So, they've just found him with a board on him. But Stanley was not hurt. In fact, he would still have been sleeping if he had not been woken by his brother's shout. What's going on here? He called out cheerfully from beneath the enormous board. Mr. and Mrs. Lambchop hurried to lift it from the bed. Heavens, said Mrs. Lambchop. Gosh, said Arthur, Stanley's flat. As a pancake, said Mr. Lambchop. Darndest thing I've ever seen. Let's all have breakfast, Mrs. Lambchop said. Then Stanley and I will go and see Dr. Dan and hear what he has to say. The examination was almost over. How do you feel? Dr. Dan asked. Does it hurt very much? I feel sort of tickly. I felt sort of tickly for a while after I got up, Stanley Lanchot said, but I feel fine now. Well, that's mostly how it is with these cases, said Dr. Dan. We'll just have to keep an eye on this young fellow, he said when he had finished the examination. Sometimes we doctors, despite all our years of training and experience, can only marvel at how little we really know. Mrs. Lambchop said she thought that Stanley's clothes would have to be altered by the tailor now. So Dr. Dan told his nurse to, make Stanley's to take Stanley's measurements. Mrs. Lambchop wrote them down. Stanley was four feet tall, about a foot wide and half an inch thick. 
And that's the end of the section that we're looking at today. A couple of things to bear in mind. In this section where it says altered by the tailor, a tailor is a job. So if you are a tailor, it is your job to make clothes that fit specific people, okay? Um, it's normally for things like suits and more sort of fancy clothes, but it can also work for normal clothes as well. All right, so that's one important thing to remember. Um, okay, so here are the questions that you need to answer today. Let me move my left. Um, when you answer them, it's a bit harder because it's on the screen, but just try and remember those steps we always talk about. So that first step is underlining the keywords. Now, obviously, don't get a pen and draw on your screen because I don't think um, the adults in your house will be too happy with that. But if you want to write out the question or get an adult to write out the question, then you can underline. Uh, once you underline, you then uh, need to find it in the text. So again, a bit harder because you don't have the book, but you can always uh, go back to push back the video to where I had the page open, pause it, and then you can have a little read. When you're finding, you can still use your skimming finger. You can still go along each line until you find those keywords that you need. All right. Once you find that keyword, you're reading around. Okay, read around the word. Read a bit before, read a bit after to give you an idea of the answer. And then you can hopefully write your answer. Okay, and you've got one, two, three, four, five questions to answer. Okay, just five today. If uh, you whiz through that and get that done really quickly, what you can do um, is then write a summary of what happens in this section. Just three or four sentences about what has happened so far in the story in your own words. So not just copying from the book, but in your own words, what has happened. And adults, we would love to see the work. Um, and you can send it to year two at the palmeracademy.com. We would love to be able to see that work. And if it if we're really impressed, we might give it a shout out on our next lesson. Okay, so good luck. I hope you're, you enjoyed that, Stanley, and I hope everything's all right at home. Thank you, everyone. Good luck with the work.